this little camera has better JPEG colors than Fuji. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And I'm also a raw shooter, but occasionally I like to take JPEGs too. And recently I have found a new JPEG photo style color profile that is better than my favorite Fuji JPEG color. Fuji JPEG colors and uh, film simulations are regarded by many as the best. My personal favorite is the classic Chrome, but the JPEG colors in this little camera seriously challenge Fuji's best. But before I go into my favorite JPEG color, please do share your favorite JPEG colors in the comments down below. And here are some pictures that I have taken with my new favorite JPEG color profile. I hope you enjoyed the pictures and before we go into my favorite JPEG color, new favorite JPEG color, let's talk a bit about RAW versus JPEG. What are the upsides and downsides in both uh, formats? Why would you shoot RAW? In my opinion, one of the best features in RAW format is the ability to choose or fine tune the colors and white balance in post. This is especially important for commercial photography because some of the clients are very strict about the colors of their products and logos and stuff like that. And if you shoot raw, you have better possibilities to fine tune those colors to your client's liking. For personal work, it may not be so critical depending on the work or the type of work that you do for yourself. RAW also offers more latitude in post-processing. It offers some room for error when it comes to exposure, but it also offers more creative possibilities. My post-processing, for example, is very simple, but still I enjoy the raw flexibility whenever I post process my pictures. And also you often hear that uh, raw processing takes forever, but it's not true. For me, at least it takes only something like uh, 30 seconds or a couple of minutes per each picture. And of course I don't post process every picture. I only post process my um, keepers, those pictures that I really like. RAW is also like a digital negative. If you have a RAW file from your camera, it is your picture without doubt. No one can dispute that because you can't make RAW from JPEG or from any other uh, type of uh, file or format. Before I talk about the upsides and downsides of JPEG photography, let me show you a few more pictures that I have shot with my new favorite JPEG color profile. I hope you enjoyed also the second set of pictures and now let's talk about JPEG. Why would you shoot JPEG? First of all, it's easy and no post-processing is necessary in perfect scenario at least. But you also have to be much more careful when you are shooting. You have to nail the white balance, the exposure and pretty much everything 
if you intend to do no post-processing at all. In real life though, many JPEGs lack something straight out of camera and they look far from perfect. The look is flat, lack of contrast, the tonality is not perfect, there is a blown out highlight or lack of shadow detail and all kinds of imperfections straight out of camera. However, if you manage to find a good JPEG color profile or you manage to customize your camera's existing JPEG colors to your liking, JPEG can be a very good way to enjoy photography with no or very minimal post-processing. Anyway, here is one more set of pictures for you to enjoy. I hope you enjoy it before I share my new favorite JPEG color profile color style. And you probably guessed already that my new favorite JPEG comes from these cameras, the Ricoh GI3 and the 3X. Earlier this year, Ricoh released a new firmware update. And with that update also came a new color profile, photo style, whatever you want to call it, called negative film. And that is my new favorite JPEG color. And by the way, I think it's really interesting that even today in 2023, we see color profiles or photo styles named after film. But I guess film resonates with everyone, even with those who have never exposed a single frame of film. For us old film shooters, it sounds nostalgic. And for the rest, I think it sounds cool or otherworldly or something. At first I was not over the moon with this new negative film color profile, but I slowly learned to like it. And now that I've been using it, my pictures look really good straight out of camera. And that is my definition for a good JPEG. It has to look great straight out of camera. If I want or need post-processing, then I'd rather shoot RAW because it offers better post-processing possibilities. The negative film has muted colors and very pleasing tonality, to my eyes at least. Black and white areas seem to fall where they should in most cases anyway. And I have always loved subdued muted colors and uh, the Ricoh negative film color profile seems to nail those almost perfectly. I'd be ready to say that it rivals Fuji's best JPEG, in my opinion at least. But of course a comparison would be really difficult because we all have different preferences and different taste when it comes to colors and tonality. For example, if you like very saturated, bright colors, then you probably won't like the negative film or even the classic chrome that comes from Fuji camera. But anyway, right now, the negative color from Ricoh GR3 and 3X is my favorite JPEG photo style. The main reasons are that it looks super good straight out of camera and I like the color palette. And please do not forget to share your favorite JPEG camera or JPEG color profile in the comments down below. I'd like to hear that. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, entertaining or whatever, please do consider buying me a cup of coffee. There's a link down below for that if you don't live in Finland. Thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely see you again in the next video.